Hi, Super Dave here, and those who are interested, I had mentioned it some time ago that we would turn our Mythic Legion, or work on a way to turn our Mythic Legion Kauros character into Battle Cat Man, or basically our uh, Kauros give him a helmeted head that would be more reminiscent of our Battle Cat. Uh, so, we took the vinyl, the Loyal Subjects vinyl, character which is the battle cat here and popped his head off that ball joint what we did uh, we used some boiling hot water dipping it inside of that boiling hot water and then working it working it working it with an exacto knife a little bit and some pliers and different tools until we were able to get that helmet off that head uh, as you see it, it's scarred a little bit here on this area, just peeling the glue back. And you can peel some of that off or use the X-Acto knife. But there's our helmet right there. And what we want to be able to do is attach this to our Kairos figure. And you can use that, use, do that with putty. Um, use some uh, sticky tack putty and uh, work that on to our uh, Kairos making him look more like Battle Cat. But most of the time you see him with the uh, open mouth with the teeth. But the problem with that is the colors do not match. This is a much more brighter color. And so what we want to do is we want to take some of our paint here. We have this uh, satin finish multi-surface thicket green and multi-surface classic green and then a matte or acrylic paint just crisp green and mixing those together we're going to try to get as close to this finish and this color as possible and as far as the stripes we also have a matte golden sunset and we're going to try to match the color so that we can pop this. Now, if you notice here, this ball joint and this ball joint are not too far off. They, this one is bigger right here on the Karos figure, but on the Loyal Subjects Vinyl Battle Cat, it's a pretty good sized ball joint too. So I, I think with some work and with some um, hot water, we can actually pop that on there once we get it painted and be able to use this helmet with again some tacky tape on on here to create a an open mouth version of our battle cat and also have our uh, regular head bend those ears just a little bit use some of that uh, use some of the tacky tape and you see you can, oops, it's a little crooked. You can get a pretty good pose there. Now, our um, Battle Cat helmet, our real Battle Cat helmet, has some almost metallic type copper finish, bronze finish uh, on the eyes and on the horns and the trim. So I got some of this metallic antique copper that I'm going to try to use to to create that effect on here with the horns and the eyes and the trim and see how that will do uh, with this metallic uh, antique copper superior acrylic finish so we'll try that too and you can get all of these particular uh, paints that I've shown tonight on uh, Walmart or at Walmart and uh, we're going to give it a shot. One more thing I will mention when I was talking about the uh, copper metallic that we're going to try to put on our, uh, our helmet is if you'll notice this Kairos figure from Mythic Legions has some trim, 
some metallic copper trim all throughout his uniform here. Uh, this color is very close to the color of our original battle cap as far as the that dark brownish burgundy kind of color but um, uh, that's a little far off there as far as the that copper trim and the trim that is on our actual battle cap but I'm going to see if that multi-surface metallic antique copper will, will match well enough to, to blend it because instead of having that red on there like that I'd like it to match more with the trim that's on this particular uniform so we'll give that a shot as well I think we've got our paint the right shade here and we'll certainly see test it out here and see if we're going to be close that's close to the color. All right, while we're waiting the, for the face to dry, let's go ahead and start putting some of the highlights on our Battle Cat helmet. And as you can see, we've been painting on the stripes here. Trying to blend those in really lightly. All right, got the head painted and it has dried. Got the inside of the mouth painted and the tongue painted red instead of that pink color so I think he's looking good I think he's matching up good with the color just about an exact match maybe not exact but it's close also we have been able to get the helmet painted with that copper trim I went ahead and painted the horn and of course with the places that it had been painted red painted it copper so, and the eyes to match the trim not only on our Battle Cat Men <laughs> but also to match even closer not exact match but even closer to the original Battle Cat uh, is, this is more of a copper whereas that's more of a metallic uh, darker copper um, more of a reddish copper color in the uh, the original original helmet but you can see those eyes are got a copper gleam to it this is just more of a the, the version that I got it's just got a little bit more of a brown I guess in it but anyway I think it's gonna work well and then of course some tacky just some wall tacky like you buy at Walmart or your office supply to put uh, hang posters you just put some of that on that tab that is on your head here of this battle cat and then you can just fit that right back in no reason to glue that back on now if you want to glue it back you can there's no reason to glue it you can use that tacky that way you can take the helmet off and put it directly on to your battle cat head so keeping that helmet where it can be removable and you could always switch it out and put it on your calm face if you want to so you've got your calm face and then you've got your uh, roaring showing teeth kind of face here so now what we need to do is take the old hair dryer here and then once you've gotten that done you can just pop on the head it goes right on there just like so And now you have your Battle Cat Man. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend like that he transforms when he's Battle Cat. Uh, Prince Adam transforms into He-Man and then he points his sword at Battle Cat. 
and they're going to write off and do whatever. And if he needs to fight more or going to, you know, need some more help than what Battle Cat can do on four legs as a cat, uh, he can tap into the same powers of Gray Skull, kind of like they say about the Battle Armor He-Man, that he can transform from regular He-Man to Battle Armor He-Man by tapping into uh, more power from the Castle Gray Skull, more Gray Skull power. So um, he could charge that sword again, uh, like he would for his Battle Armor uh, in that theory, and then he can zap Battle Cat. He, he zaps Cringer to become Battle Cat. And he can zap Battle Cat, become this strong Battle Cat Man warrior that can fight alongside of He-Man. That's the way I'm going to take it. I, I'm looking forward to going that route with it. I think that's going to be cool. I think that's going to be neat. And, um, and I'm looking forward to, to testing out that theory. So now he's got the uh, aggressive head and he's got a calm head, which he came with. And the colors match good. You have to play with those ears a little bit and soften those up, but use that same tack, uh, tacky putty stuff to uh, to apply that mask, that helmet to this this head as well. And so I think the Loyal Subjects uh, Battle Cat is the perfect size and the ability for those of you who are not blessed enough with a 3D printer or the ability to sculpt things, which I'm not. You can. This is an alternative. Use that Loyal Subjects. Battle Cat. You can order them on Amazon or BigBadToyStore.com or if you're lucky enough to find them in a comic book store. But you can use that mask, just heat it up in hot water, get it off of there, pop that off. The ball joint's not that much bigger. I mean, you saw just a very short period of time of warming that ball joint up. Uh, and you can make that head actually go down. Let me show you. That head will actually go down further to look down and then you can make it look up and it don't look bad either it doesn't look bad at all look at look at what that looks like there see does it look bad at all because of that attachment and of course he can go side to side and turn it and I'm messing up the helmet a little bit but you can go side to side turn side to side and get basically a full range of motion so that's that's an excellent, excellent idea for those of you who like this. Uh, now, I will say, let me pop that off, and that, that's removable, and you can have it like that. I don't think that's going to look right, probably. But you've got a uh, ball joint there. You don't have a bicep swivel, but you do have elbow swivel there. You've got joints at the wrists. Get full 360 here. Again, you have elbow swivel, which is nice. That's kind of in place of the bicep swivel. You got nice muscularity and veins in the bicep there. You do have a waist swivel. You do not have an ab crunch, but you can get a pretty good crunch there. But watch out because it does scratch. See my paint there, which I'll use some of my paint to touch that up since I've already got it mixed. But uh, there's the ability for him to attach other things like all the mythic legions have of course he's got the tail that's articulated and then you've got under here you got that ball joint so he's able to do a full split you're able to have thigh rotation very loose on that single jointed knees you have uh, full range of motion with those ankles and very nice rockers and you have knee swivel you have knee swivel instead of thigh swivel i mean Instead of like a boot cut, you have a thigh, I mean a knee swivel and a thigh swivel. And so that's his articulation. Really nice character, but I like leaving that on there. It's still, it's hard. It's going to have to be heated up again. Not very long. Softens that up. And you can pop that head right on there. And you see the copper that matches. It's like on his, his shoulder pads there. It matches, I think, very well to what I painted on the helmet. So I'm very pleased with Battle Cat Man. Tell me what y'all think, and thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. If you're interested in reviews that are coming up, I've got some more Masters of the Universe and some other figures I'll be reviewing. And of course, I'm also working on part four of the Masters of the Universe, the story, Diorama Stories.
God bless.